Hello guys, it's Silas Tops here, your PHP lecture again. Uh, today guys, in our lecture 6, we're going to talk about increment and decrement operators in PHP. Uh, these decrement and increment operators are these which we're going to talk about. If you see the plus plus, minus minus, uh, these are the increment and the decrement operators, meaning the uh, subtractions one. Then we also have other operators such as plus is equals to minus is equals to per, uh, division is equals to times is equals to percent is equals to and dot is equals to this one. So I, I'm, I'm going to also to show how what are the effect of these other operators that we have. Without wasting time, guys, let me just jump quickly to the topic of today. As usual, my details here, guys. If course, if you have got any query, you can also contact me on my cell phone number here or my email i will actually try to respond to you uh, without wasting time let me actually open my text editor text editor notepad just type in notepad there then i already have an initial code for my html let me just post it here so the topic for today which is increment and decrement operators first thing first i'll simply come here and uh, open put an opening tag for php you all know that if you're writing a php code you must have an opening and closing tag for php so opening tag for php question mark php then closing tag for php is question mark then then every code for php you have to write it inside here so I want to actually declare two integer variables which I, which I'm going to use to demonstrate all the increment and decrement operators. Uh, I want to declare the variable code maybe uh, let me say the variable code what x x then I give it a value let's say I give it a value 8 then let me declare another one again let's say variable what variable y and I'll give it a value let me say 2 so I want to display these value, values before I do anything. So I have to, you know that in, in HTML, in PHP, when you declare, when you want to display the value, you display with one with an echo. So I just want to display them in this format. So let me say echo, echo what? Let me say echo variable y, y, uh, y is equals to y value. Let me say, say y value is equals to uh, in this format then after that i would display the y value here with a concatenation of dot then i call i call this y value which means dollar sign y then i want to concatenate again with the the value of uh, x in front uh, let me just concatenate with the value of x in front let me say comma then i'll say value x value say x x value is equals to then when i'm saying equals to i concatenate this um, dot concatenate with what i'm call my variable x my va the value of variable x which is that one which is dollar x then after that i want to concatenate with a space that the, the br that gonna send me to the next line you know that this one is an HTML one, HTML a tag which is br that will send me to the next line, guys. After that, I'll put a same colon. So this is simply the statement that will display my results of x and y. So after this, I want to up to apply a, a decrement and increment. So we have got two. We have two types of inc increment which is post increment and pre increment and the two types of decrement which is post decrement and pre decrement but now i'm going to demonstrate here uh, on variable what variable y i want to demonstrate what we call post increment post increment you simply you have a plus two plus signs in front of what your variable what it means is simply you are adding one in the variable of y that we have the same applies to the post decrement it have got a, two negatives in front of the variable that we have what it means it means you are minusing one in the value of x variable x that we have so once i am done this i just want to display the new results of my x and y that i have so let me just simply copy this then i'll paste it at the bottom here 
let me simply paste it after pasting i want to demonstrate the pre post pre pre increment and pre decrement on my values let me demonstrate the pre increment you are starting with what yes you, you are starting with a plus sign before the variable that you want to decrement so let me just see pre increment the variable y again then also let me apply the de pre decrement on the variable what variable x then after i did this it simply means meaning the same i'm subtracting one from var from the value of variable y and here i'm subtracting one from the value of variable x and here i'm adding one that's what it means so let me display the results again let me just call this statement to display my new results that i have then these are the two types of operators that we have which is post increment and increment uh, i also want to demonstrate other value other values that we have operators that we have uh, without wasting time let me just go and copy the one that i have then i'll explain i'll explain guys let me just copy the ones that i have here then uh, i'm gonna explain what it means uh, let me just copy the ones that i have here then i'll explain the rest explain what it means on each and every one each of every every operator uh, let me paste them here so these are other operators that i have guys let me just uh, uh, put them here uh, yeah 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 without wasting time i just put some examples of wow all right i'm gonna explain now what it means on each and every uh, operator guys all right so i simply have these ones already there's no need to write br here okay uh where am i am here so this one guys this one the one that i wrote here the third one which is variable y plus is equals to three it simply means let me just put a comment here so that it simply means variable y is equals to variable y plus plus variable variable y is equals to variable y plus three this is what it means so you are adding three in the current variable of y that you have so here i did use this plus is equals to operator to increment my variable y with the, with what with three that's what it means the, this one for subtraction it also means the same which simply means this one for subtraction it simply means you are subtracting what your new value of variable x which is variable x is equals to variable x minus 4 that's what it means guys so you mustn't be confused when you see something written in this with this operator it simply means the new value of x is the one that you're gonna get when you say that the current value of x that we have you minus 4 then you get the answer then you saved in variable x so Wherever you are calling the variable x, you are calling the new one that you've got 4 subtracted from it. So that's what it means. Here, this percent, it simply means, guys, a, you are dividing the value of x. It simply means you are saying the value of x is close to a vari variable x divided by 2. So the answer that you got when you divide by two is the one that the answer that you got when you di when, when you divide by two is the one that you, you saved in the variable x here that's what it means the sum applies this percent percent this percent is simply the modulus i did actually talk about it last time it simply means the remainder so the rem it simply means the var the value of y that we have will be equal to the remainder that you got when you divide the variable what y when you say variable y percent percent variable y percent four which means when you divide variable y by 
for the remainder that you got is the answer that's going to be saved in what variable y the, this one which is uh, the next one which is the uh, the multiplication it simply means the same again it simply means variable x is equals to variable x which is variable x times times what times 2 so is being multiplied by 2 the variable x is being multiplied by 2 then the the, the answer that you got when to multiply is saved in variable x this dot it means concatenation guys this dot is still the concatenation it simply means you are concatenating the value it simply means this is simply means the value of the new value of x is cos 2 the value of what value of x concatenated with concatenated with value of what y which is value of y y that's what it means so when you are concatenating you are joining two things you are not adding but joining so it's variable x is 2 and this one is 3 which means you are joining 2 and 3 and you are going to have 23 that's what it means concatenation so uh, once you are done this guys you know that you have to save let me just save my work then i'll demonstrate when i'm running this program i'll go to save as uh, to save as here i'm going to see drive to go to C drive then i'll look for them folder then i'll look for ht docs in my ht docs i want to create a new project new folder there let me name this project prog prog what prog 6 then let me press enter after press enter the code that i have i have to name it with the extension of what dot php dot php then i'll save it in my project what project folder which is prog let me open then i'll save it when i save i want i have to check my zamp control panel whether it is started this button is already started and this one started so i don't have to worry because my page and my sql is running so the next thing i have to go to my browser i see my project saved yes project.php so i have to go to my browser once i'm here in my, my browser i have to type local what i have to type local host local local host then you type your project name which is prog 5 which is prog 5 uh, it's prog 6 not prog 5 guys it's prog 6 yes it's prog 6 then you see the project displayed here then you just simply click the project so you see this is how the value are being displayed these are the initial values that i have which is 2 and what 8 then after i increment the variable x and y it's incremented by one and this one is subtracted by both i was decrementing then after i pre-increment this one incremented by one again and this one decremented by one so this one is the operator that i applied the other one the other operator and on the other operator guys i was adding on my value of y i added three here yeah? it was this one which is adding three here yeah? that's why i end up having seven and the other one is subtracting four from the variable from the value of what x that's why i end up having what two here yeah? then the other operator the next operator is this one which is dividing two so it's simply dividing the by 2 which is the value of x being divided by 2 value of x that i have 2 divided by 2 and i've got 1 here that's why i got 1 and the other one that is next after that guys it's uh, the one that is saving percent which means it's uh, dividing the value of y with percent 4 when i divide the value of y with percent 4 here which is 3 uh, which is a uh, 3 divided by 4 i'll get 0 remainder 3 that's why i've got to remainder 3 here on the division then the last one multiplication again which is multiplying the value of what x here valuable x is only 1 times 2 that's why i'm getting 2 here and the last one it was this one which was is saying concatenating x and y x and y i have got the values of x and y what do i have for x and y i've got the 3 and 2 3 and 
3 and 2 that's why it becomes what 23 